What if Earth had 100 moons? Hey, Mr. Banana! Just imagine what a life the Ottoman Sultans must have had with their harems. Many wives and concubines. What a fun life! It's like Earth having 100 moons. Evolving, having fun, and... Oh, wait. But what would life on Earth be like in this case? Would we be able to survive at all? And what would the night skies look like illuminated with so many moons? Dive in to find out! How many moons can a planet have? Mars, Earth, Venus, and Mercury have very similar characteristics. They have very few or no moons. They have solid surfaces, and they're all quite small. Jovian planets have gaseous atmosphere and lack solid surface. They are ice giants, Uranus and Neptune, and gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. They are all immense in size and have a lot of moons. We on Earth have just one moon, but some planets have dozens of them. Neptune, 14. Triton is the biggest of Neptune's moons. It is his biggest dwarf planet, Pluto. Uranus has 27 moons that we know of. Some of them are half made of ice. Saturn has 62 moons with confirmed orbits, and that's not counting Saturn's beautiful rings. Jupiter has 79 confirmed moons, and more moons awaiting their confirmation. Can Earth really hold 100 moons? The more massive a planet is, the stronger its magnetic field, and therefore the more moons it can hold. These are the very key parameters that are responsible for a high number of moons that revolve around the planet. So, let's take Earth. Is it really massive enough to be able to handle 100 moons? No, we don't think so. The moon is 181 the mass of Earth, while most moons are only about 3 10,000 the mass of their planet. The size of the moon is a major contributing factor to complex life on Earth. What can 100 moons do to Earth? It is responsible for the high tides that stirred up the primordial soup of the early Earth. It's the reason our day is 24 hours long. It gives light for the variety of life forms that live and hunt during the night, and it keeps our planet's axis tilted at the same angle to give us a constant cycle of seasons. A 99 more moons would change that. 100 moons' arrival would wreak havoc on Earth. Its gravity would tug on the planet, causing absolutely massive tsunamis, earthquakes, and increased volcanic activity. But life on a 100-moon Earth would be different. The combined light from all the moons would make for much brighter nights, and their different orbital periods will mean the Earth would have fewer fully dark nights. This will lead to different kinds of nocturnal beings. Nighttime hunters would have an easier time seeing their prey, but the prey would develop better camouflage mechanisms. More moons means more solar eclipses, maybe even more than once a day. Annoying! For the white collars especially. People will have to adapt as well. The higher tides created by the moons would make shoreline living almost impossible. The difference between high and low tides would be measured in thousands of feet. With higher tides and stronger erosion, humans would have to develop different ways of using the oceans for transfer and travel. Our months and calendars would be irrelevant. Oh, and don't forget that nothing lasts forever, and eventually some of these moons will collide. They all would be receding from Earth. Their eventual collision would send debris raining through Earth's atmosphere and lead to another mass extinction. The end result would be several or even again just one moon orbiting the Earth, and another era of life would be primed to start. Okay, let's move on to the ISS. Oh, wait, how do we get there? All the moons would look like an asteroid belt around our planet. But what about the rest of space rubbish, debris, inactive satellites, the upper stages of launch vehicles, discarded bits left over from separation, and even frozen clouds of water and tiny flecks of paint that are orbiting the Earth? Space junk has become a greater risk for space flights in low orbit in recent years. In fact, all these objects and debris aren't static. They're moving really fast. Their average velocity can reach 6 miles per second. Let us draw the picture for you. Imagine a 38-ton bulldozer flying at a speed of 118 kilometers per hour and then colliding with a concrete building. Well, the impact of such collision would be the same if one kilogram piece of space debris collides with the International Space Station. Can't even imagine how skillful an astronaut should be to pilot the spacecraft within the orbit of 100 moons. Can you imagine being on a planet with so many moons in the sky? Do you want to know more interesting facts about the moons?